What's going on guys? This is Big Worm 380 and we are back in the arc on the Total Beginners tutorial series. Um, when we left off, we, I showed you guys how to uh, how to spam the foundations and stuff. Uh, just to let you guys know, I did adjust the XP multiplier. I bumped it up a little bit so I could kind of speed this along slightly more. Uh, I only had it on three. I put it on six. So it'll be moving a little a little quicker, um, a little less grindy for me, uh, just for tutorial purposes. Usually I leave it on three, actually, um, which I think is pretty good. Um so what what I've done so far, I've added a couple points uh, to my character. Uh, I made me a little storage box just to get rid of some of the things that I don't want to be carrying. And these fucking skins right here, I always dump all those. I mean, they're kind of fun to mess around with when you first get them, but I don't know. I wish there was... I think... I, I wish there was a way to turn that off where you don't get them every time you die or spawn in. But uh, I don't know if there is. So... I know when you, uh, I know there is a setting in the, uh, if you're doing a single player game that you can turn off the animation when you spawn in, where you look at your arm and scratch it and all that, because, uh, early on, if, you know, you may die a few times, that gets a little annoying. Um, so let's take our meat we've got here, let's throw this in, throw that in, there, let's go ahead and put that, all right. It's always a good idea to uh, always have meat cooking. I mean, you know, if you've got it on you, kill you a dodo or a dilo nearby or something like that, and just go ahead and get, get a couple fires going if you can. Um, what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to go ahead and flesh out this base a little bit. I'm not so much where I turned up the XP, so I showed you guys how to spam the foundations to get that going. Um, what I normally do is once I get to about now, about level 15 or 20 with the foundation spamming, I'll go ahead and switch to making wooden boxes. You do the same exact thing. You just go up and make you as many boxes, get as much wood. What, what is the material for those? Wood, thatch, and fiber. Same, same as uh, the uh, thatch foundations. So all you got to do is get as much material as you can carry and make as many boxes as you can. And you can literally just stand in one spot. Like if I was making them right here, you could just sit here and place them in a circle around you as many as you can and then start breaking them and then start crafting more with what the material you get back. And you just kind of keep doing that and you'll rank up, you know, fairly quick. It's not going to be super speed, but it's it's faster than just trying to play the game at a low level. It's and it's it is kind of boring, but it, I, I would rather do that and rank up pretty quick and then get to the good stuff uh, a little faster. The next order of business is going to be get some more foundations, walls, uh, ceilings, and doors, and all that good stuff made. Okay, guys, so I've got uh, just six foundations, it's two by three. That's going to be more than enough room for me. Um, you don't have to go two walls high, but that's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, the reason being is because uh, early on, I should have placed this box actually a little earlier. Because the thing is, if you get to running around and you die, you're going to lose all, any any good stuff. Especially like hide right now is really important. So if you make your little storage box as soon as you can and keep all the good your good stuff in it kind of in a safe place, then you can kind of run around and not really worry about what you lose. I mean, your tools and all that aren't that big a deal. They're easy to make, so... Um, but the reason you want to make the walls too high is because what I would suggest doing is as soon as you can learn it, um, where is the large storage box? That's at level 16. Okay, so if you, if you put a large storage box right here, you won't be able to put ceilings wherever it's at because it's, the large storage boxes are just a little taller than the one wall. So you want to do, uh, I like to do two walls high. And when you're making stuff with thatch, it's not that big a deal. Now, if you're on official servers, you know, it's a lot more of a grind just to make walls and stuff like that. But, um, like I said before in the in the last video, I really suggest any new players, uh, try to, uh, play on single player for a little bit first. That's what I would do. Um, that way you can tweak the settings, and it makes the game a little easier, a little more enjoyable while you're learning it, and then... Going on official would be like hard difficulty on a on a game, I think. So I'm gonna finish getting the walls and stuff, and the walls and ceilings and the door and everything, and then uh, we will be back. All right, guys, we've got our last 
ceilings or our ceilings done last part of the thatch hut build and this is just a very simple thing like I said early on you can still learn and if you want to learn the slope walls and all that to put you know make a pitched roof and all that that's all fine and good I would say for later but uh you know especially if you're playing official on pvp you're not going to have time for all that shit and you're going to be wasting ingram points early on to learn those things so just something simple like this where you've got a roof you know that'll keep any kind of flyer from getting in there which there's nothing there's no flyers around here except pteranodons there's nothing to worry about um but the main thing is you know getting your walls up and getting you a door okay and the thatch doors Sometimes I go as far as to go ahead and learn the wooden doors because these are kind of a pain in the ass to even see. I mean, you can see them, okay, but... Okay, so we've got hide. We need to make a bed. That's another important thing. When As soon as you can, you need to make a bed. All right, we'll go grab some fiber and thatch, and we've got plenty of hide already in the box that we uh, made. And I'm going to go ahead and make maybe two regular or two large storage boxes too and we'll just go ahead and pick up that one or not pick it up but go ahead and destroy it um i really do wish that they would implement on consoles um kind of like what the s plus mod does on pc uh why am i grabbing wood that was stupid um anything you place on pc you can pick up in s plus you, you don't destroy it but then there's also the option to destroy it, like say you want the materials or just, you know, you know you're not going to use it anymore. So I wish they would do that because especially like stuff with storage boxes and things like that, because sometimes you place stuff down or later on, you know, when I put a generator down, that's a pain in the ass when you, you just kind of screw up the placement, especially if you're a real picky builder and you want everything perfectly straight and all that. You got one shot to place a generator down on here, and then you got to destroy it. There's no picking it up. So hopefully they'll they'll implement that for at least maybe items or, or, or structures that, you know, would normally be movable in real life, like boxes and stuff like that. All right, so we'll do that. We'll demolish this. Anytime you demolish anything with an inventory and it has anything, it'll leave a bag behind. That includes people uh, when they die. And animals sometimes will leave bags behind. So always check the bags. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of how I want to place this. This isn't a big, a huge deal because this is just our little thatch starter base but i am kind of particular i'm not i'm not a real big builder i don't like getting on art just to build um i've got a lot of friends that do and i can see the appeal to it i just like doing the other things i like going out and taming dinos and stuff like that but one thing i do like to do i like to organize my base or my crafting area which is basically all this is going to be for now um i like to organize it in a way where you can kind of get to everything or you can get to a lot of things standing in one spot, and you, there's not a lot of clutter or wasted space. I need to see what level we learned the smithy at. Smithy. Level 20. So we're coming up on that. Oh, we, we can learn it now. Um, let's go 200 weight and a couple more on movement speed. Notice I, have, I still haven't added anything onto my health yet. And like I said, you can do it however you want. It's all preference. But in my opinion, to add health at this point of the game, it's not super useful. Uh, mainly because it, without good armor, you're just you, you're not gonna. It doesn't matter if you have a bunch of health. It's still only gonna take a, a, a mid-level raptor three or four hits to kill you anyway. So you know. Uh. Where? Okay, so yeah, next order of business is going to be getting some metal tools, okay? Because metal tools are the stuff. It is what we want. Okay, so do we learn? 
we learn the trank arrow that that caused us to learn the the regular arrow see it used to be i would go down and try to get the trank arrow and then it wouldn't let me because i'd have to come up here and click on this now anything that has a prerequisite like the trank arrow you have to learn the stone arrow first then you could get this the bow uh like it says right here in the red i gotta learn the slingshot well if i just click on the bow now it gives me the option to spend the points on the slingshot and the bow. So that that's kind of nice that they made that like that. That way you're not running all over the uh, Ingram list looking for things, uh, prerequisites and whatnot. Okay, so let's make us a bed real quick. And the cool thing about the beds is if you have a tribe with multiple people or you find yourself in a situation where you're in a kind of a tight situation and you're you're dying or you may you pretty much know you're going to die and you're going to respawn somewhere these beds can stack meaning that okay um okay wait um i'm just going to put this right in front of the door um and the reason why like i said this is just my little this is just my little beginner shack this is not you know this is not something I'm going to have bedrooms and all that stuff. Okay, but, uh, and, and given that, that I'm working with limited space and I want to keep room for all my crafting stuff, um, this right here, this, if I had multiple people in my tribe or if I wanted to put a spare bed down, because every time you die, there's a cool down period. Now, when you make the sleeping bag, sleeping bags are good to start off with if you need to make sure you spawn back where you want to spawn. I mean, that's obviously the point of them. But the only thing about sleeping bags is they take hide, they take 25 hide, and they're a one-time deal. Whereas if you can hold off and wait to get a bed, there are only 15 more hide, and sometimes hide is hard to come by depending on what your settings are. And I just soon make a simple bed, and they're unlimited. However, when you die, you'll have the option to spawn at your bed, and say you turn around and run right out, out of the house and you die instantly, or whatever, um, you will have to random spawn, or you'll have to wait like three or four, two or three minutes, I think is what it is. There's a cooldown period for the bed. So what you could do is make multiple beds, and you can stack them. So I could literally place six beds on top of each other right here, and they'd it'd look like one bed, pretty much. And then I'd have six respawn deals available to me right there. I mean, I'm not going to do that since it's just me by myself, and I'm not planning on getting into anything too crazy on here. Ooh, we're going to tame him later. Look at that, red and black, too. 145. Okay. So we've got our little thatch hut built. Uh, next thing we need to do is get some stone... We need to get some. We need to get some stuff to make a couple of forges, and we're, or, well, really, we're just gonna make one forge right now. Need to make a mortar and pestle. I'm gonna go ahead and make that first, and the reason why is I can go ahead and get some uh, narcotics going. I think did I have narco berries on me? Yeah, I got 56 narco berries on me. So I'm going to. Hmm. Trying to think. I'm going to stick these over here. These will be fine over here. Or this one. I usually get at, at pretty soon what I'm going to be doing is I'll, I'll have probably three going. I like to have one that I, that's specifically for um, making narcotics. And then I'll have another one to put flint and stone in to make spark powder. And then I'll have a third one next to that to take the spark powder out of the middle one and put it over here with charcoal and make gunpowder. And then, so you could have narcotics making, you could have spark powder making, and then as it makes, you can transfer it over and have gunpowder making all at the same time. Just kind of multitasking. I like doing that, it just, it saves time. Okay, and the reason I was looking for this extra raw meat, okay, on, when you're playing normal, meat stacks in your inventory, raw meat stacks in your inventory in stacks of 20. So if you look at one stack of meat right here, it says it's full time on this stack of meat, and it's talking about the, the, the first piece of it. 
is 12 minutes and 48 seconds. Now, I, I turned the uh, spool time up. It's one and a half times what it normally is. So if you're playing the default, it'll be less than that. But, um, hold on one second. So 12 minutes and, uh, 12 and a half minutes till the first piece of the stack spoils, okay? Then I'll have one piece of spoiled meat in my inventory like this and 19 raw, okay? Not, like right now, I need spoiled meat right now. Because while this is spoiling, the spoiled meat is actually spoiling and it'll just disappear. And we don't want that. So what you can do is, and you can't do this in any container. In other words, I can't do what I'm fixing to do in a box or anything like that. That would be nice because you wouldn't have to have all this in your inventory. But what I do is you hit the button to split your stack. On Xbox, it is uh, the Y button. I can't think of what it is on uh, on PC. And I'm assuming on PlayStation, it's whatever the... Whatever the top button is on your little four buttons over there. So you just keep hitting, hitting the split button on all, all these until they're in individual, until they're in singles. And then that way you can, uh, the timer applies to every piece of meat. So now in 11 minutes, a little over 11 and a half minutes, all this is going to spoil at the same time. And once that happens, we'll be able to throw that in here with our narco berries and make us some narcotics. So we'll wait on this meat to spoil. Let's go ahead and make the forge first, I guess. Need 125 stone. All right, guys, we just got enough stuff to make our first forge. I say first because we're going to have a lot of forges here in a little while. Um, maybe not in this episode. I don't know. What, what 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 my end goal for this episode is, is to get some metal tools and get a Pteranodon tamed. So, alright, so we've got, we're going to put, hmm, 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 I may put the forges up there, yeah, let's see if I can make a, uh, a thatch ceiling. And this is all about conserving space, because remember, the only reason I went two walls high mainly was to put those boxes, and you can see, you know, you had I had to do that. And so what I'm going to do now is put that there, that there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm going I'm to put two. I'm going to put two, because I may end up uh, going ahead and making some extra forges here in a little bit. Uh, right now, all we need is one, though. So, and uh, since these are up on the ceiling, okay, it's not like we're going to build stairs or put a ramp in. We don't have room for all that. And so we are going to kind of waste some space up top, but uh, the fact that we're going to have our forge right here, like that, then you can just look up at it and access it. We'll throw that in, throw that in. Right now, what we need to do, we need to go ahead and gather the stuff to make the smithy. Uh, that's what we're going to need when we get our five metal ingots. Okay, so we've got the hide. I think we've got the hide. If not, we're close. Stone and wood are easy to get. The, the only problem with making the smithy is the five metal ingots. Okay, so when you're first starting off, obviously you can't start with metal tools. Uh, you got to learn the Ingram's form later on, which I already have. And then, so you start off with these stone tools. So you got to get the metal. Later on, you're going to be getting it with metal tools or dinos that, that harvest metal. And we'll go over that later. Uh, but initially, what we're going to be doing is getting it with our stone tools. So... You can go find a metal node, and you'll you'll get a little bit of metal from it, you know. It's not going to be as good as metal tools. But uh, right off the bat, the best thing to do is just run down the beach and hit all the big rocks as close to the water as you can find. For some reason... Are you serious? Really? Alright. So anyway, you take your pick... And hit all these stones down on the beach, and you may get some uh, raw metal out of them. 
You're not going to get a lot. You may get a, a piece or two of it. All we need... See, there's one. All we need is ten. Well, we're going to need more than that, actually. But to get the smithy built, we're going to need ten. Can't make metal tools without the smithy. And then we're going to have to come back out and find some more so we can make the tools themselves. Because they take metal ingot as well. And as you can see right now, my screen, the outer edges, it's kind of blinking red. And if you look on the right side above my uh, level indicator there that's blinking, you'll see that little bit of stars that are filling up. That's my torpor rising because my stamina is out and I just passed out. I was going to show you that. Now you're knocked out and you can't do a damn thing. If a raptor, if a dilo comes up, he's going to eat me and kill me. Um, you just got to wait for them stars to go down. You can't, I mean, you can't do anything. You can't access your menu. You can't, you can look around. You can pan around and look, but that is it. So you're pretty much at the mercy of the game. All right, so I'm back up. Uh, and as soon as you wake up, your stamina. Yeah, the stamina's filling up fast. I don't know why. I don't think I changed anything for that. I didn't change any of the player stats or anything like that, so... Okay, guys, so we've got 12, so that'll get, give us 6 ingot, because for uh, every 2 raw metal that you cook in the forge, the refining forge here, um, I'll show you make it, or I'll let you see it make it, um, it's uh, 1 ingot for every 2 raw metal. So basically, if you need 10, you know, we needed 5, so we needed 10 raw metal at least. So there you go. All right. So, I'm just going to continue on uh, gathering some more, trying to get some more metal out of these rocks because, like I said, we'll be able to make the smithy here pretty quick. We've got all the materials to do that, but it's not going to do us any good if we don't have any ingots for the tools themselves. Oh, hey guys, check it out. Our, uh, our meat just bingoed. So, I showed you guys how to split the meat earlier in the inventory into into singles and it went ahead and spoiled so now I'll be able to take this over to the mortar and pestle and keep in mind you have you had to have learned the uh, narcotic ingram already and then you have to make the the mortar and pestle that's where you make that at so uh, we're gonna craft all so we got 10 narcotics out of that that's not bad once we get this uh, smithy made, we're going to be able to make metal tools, and uh, I don't know i don't know if I skipped over it or I haven't had a chance to learn it yet, if I'm not there yet. It should be coming up close, but I'll be able to learn the crossbow here pretty quick. And that's a better tool to use to knock stuff out early on than the bow, just simply because it takes a lot less arrows to do it. And so I'm just going to hold off on getting a pteranodon until I can get that crossbow. All right, guys, we got the smithy crafting. That's a pretty damn big deal. That's going to be, that's going to help us out a lot. Ooh, Carno's getting close. Okay, let's get this smithy down. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to make this end over here, kind of the crafting area. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. This has kind of gone on a little longer than than I planned on. Um, that's one thing I'm noticing when I'm making these tutorial videos is uh, I tr I'm trying to cover certain things or get certain tasks done in each episode. But uh, I'm trying to, every time something comes to me, I'm talk I, I want to talk about it so I don't forget about it later. But we will get a Pteranodon in the next episode uh, for sure. And... Uh, whatever else you know just keep on keep on trucking and moving on but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did i'll see you guys in the next one later